Now to continuing coverage of the Windsor traffic stop investigation. Today, 10 on your side was the first to hear from the town manager and the police chief about this video that went viral. Back in December, two officers pulled their guns, pepper sprayed, and ultimately handcuffed Virginia National Guard 2nd Lieutenant Karan Nazario. Nazario filed a civil rights lawsuit against the officers on Sunday. Windsor Police Chief Officer Joe Gutierrez was fired. He was the officer seen pepper spraying Nazario during the traffic stop. Daniel Crocker was the second officer involved in the stop. The NAACP is calling for him to be fired. Uh, last night, the Windsor Town Council said that they support Crocker. And today, 10 on your side's Andy Fox has new reaction. The town attorney, the police chief, and the town manager all gathered here holding a news conference. But before they go to that news conference, they stop and talk to us. And we had some questions for them. I think the use of force was appropriate at the moment based on what was going on. However, what I was disappointed in, and as I stated earlier, there were missed opportunities for the officers to verbally de-escalate the situation, to create a rapport with that subject and gain compliance to get to a point where that wasn't necessary. That was the disappointing part, and those, the comments that Officer Gutierrez made, they, they served no purpose to de-escalate the situation. Now this happened in December. Why was he terminated finally more than four months later on Sunday. I Why lost, not sooner? I lost faith in his ability to execute his duties as a police officer in the community. Or was it the video going viral that you say, you, you cannot effectively serve and protect this small town of Windsor because of this video? Was it, didn't that play into it as well? That it was, the, the well had been poisoned. It's a small town. Gutierrez seen on video doing that in a small town. He had lost your confidence, but probably the public confidence as well. Yes, sir. Coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 5, more on training and how training will take a new direction here in Windsor. I'll have that story coming up in Windsor. Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Now, after speaking with Andy, the town administrator and police chief held a news conference. Ten on your side's Brett Hall continues our team coverage live in Windsor. And we're just learning out of that news conference that there is now a third agency probing what happened here back on December 3rd, December 5th, rather, the FBI. Chief Rodney Riddle says that they arrived with state police on Monday asking for some documents from the police department. In a statement, a spokesperson for the FBI says that they are reviewing all facts of the incident to determine what federal response is warranted. Now, the chief covered many of the things Andy just mentioned, that it was not Officer Gutierrez's actions that caused the firing, but the fact that those actions were seen by so many, making it impossible for him to continuing to serve the Windsor community. When asked if the town should have come forward with the incident before it was in the media, he says he was not aware of any other agencies doing that after an internal investigation. Then I asked if Lieutenant Nazario deserves an apology. I don't believe so. Why so? You know, Lieutenant Nazario took certain actions that created where we, we got to, um, and, and I think that, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, let the, uh, we'll let the court sort that part of it out and litigate that part. And he says where his de department screwed up is where he's going to take accountability. It was not de-escalating the situation. He says he's treating this as a learning experience. We'll have a lot more for you tonight at Wavy News 10 at 5 and 6. Live right now at Windsor Town Center. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.